Okay, welcome to Let's Get to the Marks. Uh, this question is about olive oil. Um, so let's get into it. A sample of olive oil is mainly the unsaturated fat Y mixed with a small amount of inert impurity. The structure of Y in the olive oil is shown. Y has the molecular formula C57H100O6. The MR is 880. The amount of Y which is found by measuring how much bromine water is decolorized by a sample of oil using this method. Transfer a weighed sample of oil to a 250 centimeter cube volumetric flask and make up to the mark with an inert organic solvent. Titrate 25 centimeter cube samples of the olive oil solution with 0.025 mole per decimeter bromine aqueous solution. A suitable target titrate for the titration is 30 centimeters of 0.025 mole per decimeter bromine solution. A suitable target titrate for the titration is 30 centimeter cubed of 0.025 mole decimeter bromine solution. Already said that. Justify why a smaller target titrate would not be appropriate. Calculate the amount in moles of bromine in the target titrate. Okay. So our target titrate has 30 centimeters. So if we want to work out the percentage error, let's say the error is one. We're going to do 1 over 30 times 100, and that's going to give us a percentage error of roughly 3.3%. Let's just make that up, okay? This is just for illustration purposes only. Um, now, let's say we only use the 10 centimeter target titra, 10 centimeter cubed. Well, it'd be 1 over 10 times 100. We get a 10% error. So the larger your target titra, the smaller your percentage error. So if we use a smaller titra, this is going to lead to a higher percentage error or level of uncertainty in the answer and there we go that's for one mark that justifies the larger titra now the second part we need to calculate the amount in moles of bromine in the target titra so let's get down to this you remember the equation obviously which is moles n i like to use as moles over cv concentration times volume well they've given us the volume 30 centimeters we need to turn that into decimeters by dividing by a thousand and they've given us the concentration 0.025 mole per decimeter so if i times the volume by the concentration i'm going to get the moles 7.5 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of bromine is what we have in the target titra okay here comes a difficult calculation calculate a suitable mass of olive oil to transfer to the volumetric flask using your answer to 9.1 and the structure of y assume the olive oil contains only 85 percent of y by mass if you are unable to calculate the amount of bromine in the target titrate you should assume it is 6.25 times 10 to the minus 4 moles this is not the correct amount okay if we take a look at the stem of the question we can see that the ratio of bromine to Y must be five to one. And this is because there are five double bonds in the structure of Y. Look here, I've circled them. Okay, that means you're going to need five bromine molecules for every one of these Y molecules. So the ratio is five to one. So we're trying to find a suitable mass of Y to add. So we want the mass of Y. So we're going to have to use our formula, which is mass over MR times moles. And do you remember from step 9.1, we found out there were 7.5 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of bromine. Well, that means because it's in a 5 to 1 ratio with Y, we divide by 5, we have 1.5 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of Y. Now that we know the moles, we score a mark for that, we now need to work out the mass and we can do that by using the MR and putting it into our moles mass and MR equation. So if we look at the MR of Y we can see it's 880 from the stem of the question here and then all we need to do is put our moles mass triangle down like this, find out the MR of Y which we just said from the stem is 880, use our moles multiply it by 880 which is the MR and we'll end up with the mass of olive oil or the sorry the mass of the molecule Y that's in the olive oil and that's going to give us 0.132 grams but remember that's the mass that's found in only 25 centimeter cubed if we look at the stem of the question again 
we can see that they took 25 centimeter cube samples of olive oil out of 250 centimeter cube. So we need to multiply by 10 to get it back to the original. So now we know in the original 250 centimeter cubed, there was 1.32 grams of molecule Y. So now we know that, we just need to find out how much olive oil we would need to put into the volumetric flask. Remember, the olive oil isn't 100% molecule Y. It only contains 85% of it by mass molecule Y. So we're actually going to need more olive oil than we have the mass of Y, because only 85% of the olive oil is Y. So what we're going to do here is 1.32 grams divided by 85 to find what 1% of the olive oil is times 100. And we're going to get 1.55 grams of um, olive oil. And there you go. That's your five marks for part, part 9.2, which was probably the hardest part of this question nine of the 2022 paper. Let's move on. All right, 9.3. The olive oil solution can be prepared using this method. Place a weighing bottle on a balance and record the mass in grams to two decimal places. Add olive oil to the weighing bottle until a suitable mass has been added. Record the mass of the weighing bottle and the olive oil. Pour the olive oil into a 250 centimeter cube volumetric flask. Add organic solvent to the volumetric flask until it is made up to the mark. Place a stopper in the flask and invert the flask several times. Suggest an extra step to ensure the mass of the olive oil in the solution is recorded accurately. Justify your suggestion. So we need an extra step here. You see, they poured the olive oil into the volumetric flask, but they didn't re-weigh the weighing bottle afterwards. They should have re-weighed the weighing bottle after, subtracted the mass, and then find out the mass of olive oil that they actually added. So they may think that they put five grams of olive oil into the weighing bottle, but actually you need to re-weigh the weighing bottle after and find out how much olive oil was actually entered into the volumetric flask. And the reason is so that we can calculate the mass of olive oil added accurately. Now we need to know for 9.4, state the reason for inverting, that means turning the flask upside down, inverting the flask several times. And the reason is we want all the contents to be evenly mixed. We want the moles of all the different contents within that solution to be mixed evenly. And this can be described as being homogeneous or uniform. So you can say to ensure the contents are evenly mixed, but if you want to get funky, you can say to ensure the solution is uniform or homogeneous. Okay, final part, 9.5. A sample of the olive oil was dissolved in methanol placed in a mass spectrometer. The sample was ionized using electrospray ionization. Each molecule gained a hydrogen ion, H+. During ionization, the spectrum showed a peak for an ion with an MZ of 345 formed from an impurity in the olive oil. The ion with MZ345 was formed with a compound with the empirical formula C5H10O. Deduce the molecular formula of this compound and show your work. Okay, so we need the molecular formula of this compound. Well, we're going to need the MR, and 345 is the MZ ratio, which is equivalent to the MR. However, it had a hydrogen ion added because it was electrospray ionization. So to find the MR, we need to do 345 minus that hydrogen ion, which has a mass of 1 because it's a proton, equals 344. So 344 is the MR of our impurity. Now, we've been given the empirical formula, which is C5H10O. So we need to add these up. So we've got um, 5 times 12 for the carbon. That gives us 60 plus 10 is 70 plus 16 for the oxygen is 86. So kind of like the mass of the empirical formula would be 86. We know that the molecule has a mass of 344 from the molecular mass. So we do 344 divided by 86. We know that um, there is a difference 
of 4 is the factor difference. So we need to multiply the empirical formula by 4 to get C20H40O4. And that is the molecular formula because it's four times bigger than the empirical one. Awesome. There's your marks. End of the question. Hit the like. Thank you. Bye bye. You're still here? It's over.